we go. <clears throat> Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Helian today, or tonight, along with... The fearsome first mate Rekio, at your service. And uh, yeah, I got the chat box fixed. <laughs> Though I probably should have put in a, uh, a thing that it deletes text after a certain amount of time because that's just going to stick there for a while. <laughs> Unless, uh, actually, can I just quickly, uh, if it's, I do it's this, good. no, uh, okay. that, that just means we're not going to miss any messages, yeah. Messes, message, I mean, oh, so I've managed to fix its size. So the, the text doesn't look weird when it doesn't look like it's squeezed in the, the fact the reason behind that was because I would forgotten to set the, uh, I'd forgotten to set the size of the actual chat window that it was giving to the right size of the box up there. And uh, yeah, welcome back to Minecraft Automod 7. Uh, though I forgot to put in the 7 in the title this time. Let me just quickly correct that. And there we go. And yeah, the reason the chat uh, and uh, the chat box... Uh, the no, that, not the chat box. The chat box weren't working was because of the name change from Hillian to Captain Hillian. So it didn't automate. It didn't automatically update that. So yeah, it just got screwy with those. All right. Let's That'd see. Since yeah. since last time, I've been mostly working over here, as you can see, with some create stuff, uh, and which <laughs> Omar uh, wanting some screen time. I think he wanted to tell you there's a hazard near you. Yeah, the I probably should just cover this up for the moment. Yeah, for, for the, knowing you, someone's gonna walk inside it and die. Yeah, we've had a few visitors die already. One of them managed to get themselves stuck in lava somehow, and one of them got well, <laughs> they got into this. But the, what that does is that it lowers the it's it lowers the amount of or it's either lowers the amount of visitors that you get or it just lay, take makes it take longer for new ones to show up. <clears throat> uh, but that should fix itself over time. I'm presuming. I I very much doubt that if uh, too many visitors die that they would eventually just stop showing up. I don't think the game would do that because then you'd be reliant only on. Uh, your villagers well, multiplying themselves. As for all of this, this is a bunch of great stuff that I've been making. And well, the first one is pretty obvious. It's an auto, it's an automatic, uh, harv yeah, it's an automatic tree farm. And yeah, the basic of it, let, 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 I'll just say originally I didn't like create that much because I'd I really I found the rotational stuff annoying in that I couldn't figure out how to get something to go the right way. But it it is growing on me and uh, basically this thing that I found out with these uh, water wheels here, which are one of the primary ways of powering stuff like this through these shafts. If you're on the left side of it and you put down gearboxes so that you can change the direction in which uh, the gears are going, or the shafts are going, uh, it basic. If you're on the left side of one, it goes counterclockwise. If you're on the right side, it goes clockwise. So if okay. I were to set up conveyor belts here in a circle, they would go well in a circle with the clock, and on the side it would go around against the clock. I'll probably build up something as a bit of an example of that. Uh, but yeah, let me just explain what I have been making and you just explain the create a bit. The water wheels here, they, well, they're powered by water. Uh, if it's flowing in the correct for, uh, way with the way that the water wheel is designed, it'll give more power. If it goes against it, it'll give less power. And the best way to have them run is to basically, uh, let me find a spot to carve it out. To basically have things like this. Here you put the water. Here you put the water wheel. And because the, the middle of the water wheel counts as a solid block, that means the water will go like this. And it'll cover most of the water wheel, giving it the most amount of power, to my knowledge at least. 
if you break if you were to not have this block here water would be going against the 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 way that the water wheel is supposed to turn and that will slow it down i currently have two over here one of which is powering this mechanical press what that does is uh, that's a bunch of eggs from the <laughs> chickens uh, let me just grab a bit of iron uh, not that much then i'll just pop that into this chest here this funnel will just push them out one by one there is an upgraded version of that the brass ones but i don't think you, you can make these or we can't put that in here the we can't put that into the transformation uh, <clears throat> into the tablet or transmutation tablet. Uh, a brass one would put them out as whole as stacks. But as you can see, the press gets turned. Once it's, uh, something gets underneath it, it just squishes it and it makes it into plates, which are needed for making other stuff. And well, we can't put these plates in the tablet, so we have to have this here. Uh, this here is a deployer. Basically, what this does is, well, it's a brass hand made from brass plates. You give it something, like sandpaper, and then when you put something underneath it, it'll interact with it as if you were you know, it's a player interacting with it. So, uh, quartz. Let's take some of these rose quartz. You can put that in the tablet along with the polished version. This is made by combining eight redstone with one quartz. And actually, let me just grab two of them so I can also show off how to do this manually. If I can take the... There we go. Uh, yeah, if it doesn't have anything in its hand, it'll just automatically poke stuff. <laughs> yeah, we take one of these into our offhand. And there we go. We sand them down. To get polished rose quartz and now we give this thing its sandpaper back put the remaining quartz in here and there we go it's not we don't need it for this but there's probably other stuff later that will need sanding that might not go into the tablet so i'm keeping this here and all the same and yeah conveyor belts it's it speaks for itself mostly. It'll turn in the way that the shafts are going. But yeah. They can be pretty annoying to set up if you want to do something specific. Because you, if you want to have them turn, you'll need gearboxes. And like I said, depending on the way, on the side of the water wheel that you are at, it'll turn things in a different way. Speaking of turning... Let's take a bit of a look at the automatic tree form here. Here is the water wheel, which is going into a vertical gearbox, which is going into a mechanical bearing, which is connected to... Well, it's, it's not showing because it's an, an active construct, but uh, actually, how do I get out of here now? Might as well dig my way out. Uh, this way. Okay. The mechanical bearing is connected to some chassis pieces of on which there are four mechanical saws, which automatically will saw down any trees that they run across. And all of the items that get spawned from that get put into the chest. And the chest has a funnel on it, which is dropping everything off around it. I am... Yeah, this thing isn't optimal, very easily to say. I could have put the chest a lot closer to the middle and then put the funnel so that it would drop stuff in the middle area because the stuff that is, gets dropped out is being caught by these item collectors, which are, done fun, well, which are then automatically put into the chests and then through these me mechanism uh, transporters, as they're called. I pretty much prefer the term pipes. They get put into this specific one, which has a logistical sorter underneath it, which will send all of the different stuff into different, uh, well, into different directions, depending on the filter that they are on. Like all of the saplings will go down the green path, which goes over here towards this thing, a plant sower, which, well, 
plants new plants everything in it above it it actually normally it would only plant something in it directly above it because but because of this a range tier upgrade it has a much bigger range that it can plant things in so it'll automatically plant back any saplings or it'll sometimes take a, a bit it'll plant new saplings whenever there are well there you saw it whenever a tree gets cut down um okay it, it has a backlog now it has it, it it can't fit any more of the saplings in there so i might just have to occasionally empty these out uh, that just got picked up from mining around it i should i should put in uh, filters for the sticks and apples as well but i'll do that later in meanwhile the logs they get sent down the blue path and they immediately one goes <laughs> timing that goes down the pipe that I've dug into the wall here, which is fed into this. Well, I we we passed this thing plenty of times, but I never I never actually told what it was. But this is a cob not not a cobblestone generator. It's a charcoal generator. It's uh, it was probably a dumb idea to do that. It might have blocked something off, but oh well. This thing, through a use of hoppers and such automatically feeds any logs that are end up in here it'll well <laughs> turn them into charcoal by dropping them into you know, a bunch of furnaces and it automatically refills it's a pretty simple design you know, four by three by let me think one two three four was there a red line just running out of a character or something but yeah that just power that was yeah. it's all of that coal into here uh, which basically means that once I hook this up directly to a power source, we'll have infinite power. And speaking of, there's a coal generator over here that is currently powering a bunch of stuff from industrial foregoing. This dissolution chamber, I need, I had to make this to make the upgrade for the sewer. It's also, oh, it ran out again. Um... Uh, Put this down here. This is in the fluid extractor, which is, well, it's extracting latex. Oh, hello. Is, is that latex or is that something else? No. Heck. Uh, let me get, grab a bucket. What is this? It doesn't look like the latex. Oh, wait, it is latex. What? Oh, I see something went wrong. Oh no, I I know what happened here. I I needed a bucket of latex for something else. Let me just put a light here to lighten this up a bit more. I needed a bucket of, of latex to make the upgrade, so I changed this to stop automatically pulling all of the latex into this, the latex processing unit, which well turns latex combined with water into tiny dry rubber. Which you then combine together. I might as well show that. There, nine a piece into dry rubber, which you can then well cook to make plastic. There we go. And yeah, I could probably put something up here. To automatically feed it new logs. I know there's a, an item with uh, immersive engineering that automatically puts down blocks before it if you set it to that setting. Uh, let me actually go look that up. Uh, placer. Yeah, it's this, the factory block placer. Uh, engineer's decor, okay. Which is made with a metal bar, a dispenser, and old industrial wood planks. Okay, how do you make those then? Hmm. Yeah, there must be some... Sp oh, hello. Charcoal and planks. Okay, that should be pretty easy. You can actually do that right now. And also oh, gives dear. me time to get rid of some extra stuff here. And I'll put this back here because I have no need to carry that around. Yeah. Oh, I probably should measure this. The reason there's a huge gap around the aliens uh, automatic tree farm 
is to prevent the colonists and guests from jump walking into it. Yeah, because like I said, one of them was stupid enough to get themselves killed on this already. And yeah, whilst we're here, this is basically the same, but it's with, uh, well, wheat, as you can see. I still need to put this towards an output, probably funnel that towards the kitchen or an auto crafter to automatically make bread. This isn't too effective because we need to put the water around it. I already have a better idea for a design, but I'll have... I'll need more space for that. And what's that? Okay. Is that the. Oh, I think that's. That might be a, a visual effect from the collectors going off. That's probably it. I thought, <laughs> I thought it was some freaking ghost or something. Yeah, same. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, I'll work on that new design. I'll, I might. Put that upstairs or something. But for now, uh... actually, I'm a bit confused. Why do you build this? Maybe having the bonsai trees. Yeah, uh, because the bonsai trees don't work with uh, pipes. Okay, it's three of them. With so yeah, we can take stuff out of the bonsai. But we can't put new stuff in, like you know, axes. I originally was planning to make uh, a tree farm with uh, the bonsais by having their the wood split be split off. Uh, part of it would go into power generation. The other would go into uh, auto crafters to make new axes, and those axes would be put back into the bonsais. But since they don't have, they don't accept stuff. Uh, they. You can pull stuff out of them with pipes, but you can't put stuff in with pipes. Or at least that seemed from what I tried. Okay. Okay, bars are just iron. One, two, three. Yeah, personally, I, would just, I probably just go with bonsai for... I don't mind picking stuff up, but that way I know how much there is. True, but we'd have to refill it with axes every time. Um, have yeah. we made dispensers I, before? I, and I would probably would not mind that. Hmm. Okay, bow, redstone, and cobble, and I already know that we have... We should have dispensers in here, or... No, that's a dropper. Okay. Uh, let's see. Bow. Actually, I haven't made, put any of those in there. <clears throat> Pardon. Uh, stick. One, two, three. Spring. Yep. Four, five, six. So Wait, did I just... Stone. Did I out of habit reply to your numbering? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Before streams, or when we start a chat, we generally go one, two, three to test if uh, there Four, is five, actual six. sound. <laughs> It has been a common ingrained habit at this point. I, I started it as a joke. As like a joke for reply, but now it's... Now the joke's on you. Hey. Okay. Now Remember, Alien. Put this. I know how to shoot through your peg legs. You put that wrong. Uh, I've been working a bit with these things in creative mode. There we go. To try and make golem generators or golem builders. Uh, let's see. This It doesn't... Oh, there we go. Redstone mode inverted. Not inverted and ignored. I believe that means... If we leave it like this, it'll... Uh, it'll put anything that we put in front... It'll... In it, it'll be... Yeah, will be put before it. So, log. Let's just stick with the good old oak. And we just put those in there. And this should mean that once this log is broken, it should automatically place a new one to keep this going. Because we're Hopefully. probably going to need rubber for quite a bit. Um, yeah, again, I would not have done this automation sense. I would probably prefer to make only what I need 
and maybe some small amount in backup. Most of them don't want to make a massive storage, unless and if needed. Let's see. Dark tanks is two gems, two iron, and glass. Yeah, the, the problem which uh, not really a problem but a thing with many of these mods is that you need you know, often need to automate stuff and what is soapstone doing in there true and many people seem to enjoy making automated stuff true there is there is a certain charm to it to just making something uh or working a bunch on something and then it's finally working yeah, but at some point, it, I also worry that it may, in a way, kill the game. Like, everything is automated. What do you do now? You gotta find new is stuff to done automate. For you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you hear the problem. Like, you still can avenge and all that, luckily enough. But yeah, I probably will avoid doing too heavily automated. Like, some automation I'll be fine with. But I'll be also fine with the one myself putting the fuel and such, hmm. so I avoid getting too much of anything. I just realized something. Uh, with the... Uh, with the bra... What is it called again? I, I think I actually have an extra one in my backpack because I thought I have destroyed one. Uh, there it is, a deployer. I just realized that if we put a deployer here and we activate it that means that this thing should active uh, refill itself automatically wait what uh, the the deployer interacts with stuff as if you were actually interacting with it like this so if we just put something here to power it it should continuously activate this thing to keep refilling the tanks here But I'll do that some other time. Well, that, that kind of blew my mind a bit for... <laughs> you just put a hand to automate for you. Just a hand. <laughs> it's a helping hand. Uh... Okay. The reason I'm doing this here... My heart. My heart. Yeah, don't need that. But I do need I this the configurator, which needs power, so I'll just stick it in here for a moment to charge it. Uh, yeah, this is this is basically mechanism's wrench. It allows us to interact with the power cables and the pipes, as I'm going to keep calling them because transporter f sounds stupid on this. If I right-click on this, uh, come on, where is it? Uh, oh. You. You have a sonic screwdriver? Sort of. Wait, why is it not working? There, put that in and click, right click on the end. What? Oh, I must have, let's see, wrench. Yep. Nope, that's not it. Okay, I, ac I accidentally... S uh... Actually, it changed its setting with the mouse wheel, apparently. By crouching and using the mouse wheel. Let's see. What do... No. Turn that off. There we go. If you set a, a pipe or it to push, that means it'll draw things from other stuff. And likewise, the reverse is that you set it to pull, so that it automatically pulls stuff out. Now, I could probably just shorten this by... Putting a yeah, I, I can shorten this by putting that. Three, no, 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 no. And that is how you can <laughs> mess up something. I was counting for it. It took you two seconds. Hmm. Okay. Three, yep. Two. Three. Hmm. I might need to move this then, or can I? Six, seven. There we go. Eight, uh, now nine, we just need to empty that out. Ten, eleven, twelve. All right. I guess you're not messing up 
too much. <laughs> yeah, I fixed. You can also make it prevent to. Yeah, uh, you can also make it deny connections like that. Uh, though I probably no, not that. Uh, hmm. I might need to see what the hell to do with how, what this original setting was because you can also. What is that like? No. Hmm. Yeah, I'll need to. I'll need to reset this thing somehow then. Okay, for now, we can just break that. We, now we have a spare tank full of water <laughs> or some whatever. And yeah, basically, half of the latex now goes into storage and half goes into this, just in case I need buckets of latex for other stuff. And this, well, it's an electronic pump. It's drawing water from underneath it and feeding it into this tank, which feeds into the latex processing unit. So that it always has access to water. Now, right now, just both sides have buffers to them. I'm instantly getting worried whenever you start to make a healing potion factory or something. Mm, I'm not sure if that could be done, but I'll have to double check. Um, yeah, just an item collector over here to get all of these damn eggs. <laughs> what I just right, now should, need is some. Should you? Should you bring some of the eggs to the restaurant? True, but there is an item in mine colonies that should have, uh, let's see, post box. Is this the correct one? If you put stuff into it, then a courier, if you have any of them, will come pick them up out of that, move them to storage. And that's basically what my idea with this was, to put a post box underneath it, but I get the feeling if I do that now, it's just going to flood the entire... <laughs> it's going to flood the entire warehouse once that would be done with eggs. So maybe not. Yeah, that's probably a bad idea. Maybe there's some way I can feed it into this directly. But for now, yeah, they'll just have... <laughs> We'll just have to move it back and forth. It'll be a bit annoying, but oh well. At least it's a constant source of food. Only eggs? First was only chicken, no? Only egg. Uh, here, Leon. Do I need to explain to you how important variation is in one's diet? Uh, you won't have to, but they are happy with it at the moment. We'll get, we'll get access to more foods with them later. For now, what are the builders building? You are still working on the hospital, which is in this section of the mine, not the mine, of the colony. Uh, I've expanded, or I've pushed out the walls quite a bit. Uh, actually, there, there's a gap here. Did you... Well, you were talking to me when you were making this one. Yeah, uh, I, basically, I've part of it can be seen here. I dug a, I dug along the lines of the border and built uh, a wall out of bricks. And well, there's also another you know, amethyst over there. And I've also found out that those uh, those budding amethyst blocks, you can't actually grab them with. Uh, so, uh, with silk touch so we oh. will have to uh, if we want to automate that we will have to do it over there and he hello okay that's a wild and defender just spawned in for now we just take a bunch of bricks then in here we grab there our construction wands oh, that's actually I should not have done that. <laughs> now I just have to dig that out again. Oh well. I'll fix the lower end later. For now, all we need is this little outcrop and just place blocks like that. Spiders could still probably get over it, but I can oh. always extend it to the ceiling. Yeah, that actually should be a way for... Yeah. Good luck jumping over a wall if there's a ceiling in the way. 
Yeah, the, the other easy way to prevent spiders from climbing over would be doing this. Because then they get stuck underneath. Same with raiders. They're having gaps in them, the raiders could put their you know, ladders in between. And also, there was, there's been a few more raids since the last time. And with one of them, they actually did something new. And oh. I'm heading over right to where next. And hello, someone's in need of something. Uh, let's check in here first. Are you sick? Probably sick. They, they, the colonies have been getting influenza all of the time. Okay. You want a where? I was working on a... I had a warehouse building, but I'd, I'd given too many instructions for construction at once. So it, where they were ignoring the hospital back there. Uh, anyways, moving on. I've also planted some grass blocks because, well, I have silk touch, so I can just grab one here, put it there, and, well, put them in the transmutation. You can see the ladders they put down here. They actually dug down from the du from the dungeon. It should be behind here, I think. Uh, let me just grab a shovel. Yeah. Oh no, that's not here. Uh, let's plug that up. But yeah, they they actually dug down through stone towards the uh, towards the colony. So apparently, even just going underground isn't going to completely protect your colony from raiders. I be there, I'm kind of okay. impressed. And, well, we were going to head there next, anyways. Uh, yeah, your research has just unraveled the mystery of Keen. That is the work of the university. Which, well, it's a lot smaller than the ones we were looking at before. <laughs> Well, it's not upgraded, I take it. And what the? Uh, they, they don't, when you upgrade a building, it doesn't upgrade to the sides. It only up, upgrades up. But yeah, what? it's a bit dumb what? that it's in the wall here. Yeah, was it? Why is that? It looks like a design flaw. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's going to be walls behind it once we upgrade it. But yeah, here we. We assign someone as a researcher. Currently, we have Millen K. Gobert working here, who has 16 mana and 15 knowledge. So, very good for the position. And, yeah, for each researcher that we have, we can set them to, well, research something. And the first thing I'd, I'd advise unlocking would be stamina here, because that unlocks the hospital. This unlocks the library, which is where the colonists should be able to upgrade their own stats quicker. First aid upgrades their health. Higher learning. Well, we we have to find something to occupy them. A school, which, well, would allow children to raise their stats a lot better. Uh, we need three books for that. The chain... The... <clears throat> Uh, the on the blue lock shows that you have you meet the requirements in well the buildings the re <clears throat> requires house totaling at least three levels for this one remembrance uh, which would unlock the graveyard we would need to upgrade the town hall to level two but at the moment I want them to get the hospital done first of all everything else because the hospital is where they will go if they are sick. So I can just dump that place full of potatoes and carrots and let them deal with it themselves instead of having to go around and run after them all the time. And yeah, there's three you know, trees, civilian, which well mostly goes to health and stat upgrading and such. Uh, the graveyard will be useful because that's how, there we can get a chance of resurrecting citizens if they die. Combat, well, speaks for itself. And we have technology. Which is where we unlock industrial buildings, like uh, the composter's hut. Uh, soft shoes, so they don't trample crops anymore. Uh, the enchanter learns scroll recipes to locate workers and summon guards. Okay, that I don't know. I don't know how that useful that might be. And stonemason and forester. Oh, the sawmill. Th these are for 
well, producing stone and wood stuff. And then we have a smeltery, a blacksmith. Basically, this is mostly about production. For now, though, uh, yeah, we need to upgrade the university as well to get access to later levels, I think. Yeah, level five yep. is max. So for now, um, let's have them unlock. Let's have them research the uh, ambition for the mystical site. The, it doesn't show anything there, but if I remember correctly, having a mystical site is a good thing because it'll allow it. Uh, no, not there. It'll raise the chance. It it can indirectly raise the chance of your dead uh, colonists being revived because the graveyard keeper can actually well gather energy there or something. Just having it increases the chances of uh, resurrection, I believe. And some idiot got into the farmers, <laughs> the farming gears. Uh, Chester. <laughs> When it's kind of obvious, as you have blocks water. Wait, how did they even? Oh, they must have. They must have jumped on the pipes. Okay. No, no, Hillian, look, look ahead. Oh. Do you see where you have the water? Uh, yeah, the the water touches the sides. Okay, yeah, I. Okay. Um... It's painfully obvious how they got over. I could see right the way where I saw those water pools. I realized, yeah, that's a bridge. Um, <laughs> did you just... Yes. And now to prevent idiots from getting in again. Yeah, that's probably going to be a damn good idea. No, not Probably there. should just done fences to begin with. Uh, yeah, I should probably just fence off this entire area. And then we put in a fence gate. Would they also, want to open I'll... that? Good point, actually. Okay, then we'll just have to <laughs> jump over this to get in and out every time. <laughs> okay. Probably for uh, the best. Also, you can you could see a lot of stuff go that way there. I didn't tell this, but this. This is just going towards a box, a funnel, and let me just dig it through a bit. You can just see the edge of it. It's just throwing it into lava. It's just getting rid of it. You have a hidden trash compact. Okay. Trash burner would be the more correct term. True. Like. Um, oh dear. Big one. Uh, it, it's just throwing out the fruits and such from the trees. The stuff that we can't put into the tablet. Um, like the, well, the black current here. Uh, maybe I should have the sticks sent the same way or something. The apples we can still use. Uh, actually, let me just clear out the, a bunch of the extra saplings since it's running a bit full. Uh, the apples we could send to the kitchen, perhaps. Um, if we can Probably find some way to send it directly there. Yeah, yeah, don't don't start breaking the kitchen for automation. Just just bring it to them. Okay. Uh yeah, they they go through these eggs quite quickly, even all the same, it seems. Hmm. <clears throat> But yeah, I think that covers most of the stuff that's been changed. I'm still carrying around a bunch of potatoes and carrots just in case the the random idiot gets sick again because they really spread it among themselves really fast. Uh, wait, what what are you wearing? Hmm? 
Oh, this this is Arts Mates from <laughs> Armor from Ars Nouveau. Okay, okay. Uh, can you do the whole uh, camera view so you can see you properly? That's a. There we go. Look who's handsome. Who's a good pink boy? Uh, oh, wait, no, that, that's purple. A mage with uh, a giant backpack and sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I but guess yeah. that makes you sneaky. This stuff is pretty useful. It it doesn't actually get damaged, and it has it, no. It has pretty high armor, as you can see, eight uh, two point five armor toughness. It isn't as strong as netherite or osmium. It's a little bit weaker than that, but it it I'd say it makes up for the fact that it doesn't get damaged. So we just don't have to replace that at all. Okay, that is good yeah. for less armor, but it's indestructible. Uh, let's see. Seems adapted using swords and says, if by my life or death I can protect you, I will. You have my sword. Uh, oh, you have, you have good stats all around. Uh, you you just want Lapis. 24? Yeah, you're in. Okay. No, it's 34. It, it, yeah, the coloring does, the coloring of the text does screw a bit with things. Okay. There we go. A growing colony increases the burdens on your settlers. You should build a university to innovate your colony. Okay. We already have made a university. Yeah, it, it just it's just going to give you know, keep giving tips like that. Hmm. This is probably and... good. Okay, this is progressing reasonably. And uh, who are you? Also a visitor. Noble from a distant town thinks they will surely become the governor of this tiny colony soon. Yeah, no. Uh, definitely no. You, you're just going to go screw off, dude. Should we tell him that this is a pirate colony? Yeah, and the only pirate that's allowed to rule is me. Uh, this here is a courier's hut, and, okay, no, that's not our courier. Do we have a courier? Yes, we have Louise A. Amansham, or Amansham. Uh, at the moment, they don't have much to do. What couriers would normally do is that they would move stuff from, uh, <clears throat> to and from the warehouse, and the warehouse was being built here, but the hospital has priority. Uh, they would bring stuff from forest, uh, from places that produce items, like uh, a mine or a forester. They would bring those to a warehouse, and then from the warehouse over to where they are needed, like a mason or a carpenter or a kitchen. Hmm. Maybe I sh maybe I should make another warehouse right next to this just for all of the freaking eggs and other meats. Actually. That's actually a good idea to have one warehouse for stuff, then one warehouse for food, like a food storage. Yeah. That and actually makes sense. Yeah, and I'm not sure if I pointed this out on stream before, but these guys just don't work. The reason why that is, is because mob griefing is turned off. And apparently that also counts for friendly mobs. So they, they literally cannot... <laughs> pull the, the carrots from the floor to feed themselves. So basically, we could re remake that into a automated carrot farm, correct? True. Uh, I could probably build that other harvester design that I have in mind here. Uh, put these two uh, somewhere. <laughs> I might have a salt mine they can work. Oh, come on. <laughs> they begrudge you do so much. Uh, no, I, I might just put them somewhere else to see what they can do. And yeah, like when I said I, I dug it around the entire uh, border, or at least the previous border, before the guard tower over there was built, I, I dug around the entire way and built up the wall with the construction ones, luckily, because that's a, <laughs> that saves a whole lot of headache. And... Yeah, at some point I'll just pull that down, pull it up, fill up the entire space, and then I'll start putting in some uh, piston doors. 
That yeah, way nothing that, can get in. Yeah, it also means that that wall is going to get thick. <laughs> yeah, because uh, in order to make the kind of door that I want to, that can be opened from either side, uh, I need to put in an uh, XOR uh, logic gate, which takes up quite a bit of space. It, it requires a three wide area. Um, actually, maybe I could just dig it down to make it... Uh, you have it actually dig down underneath the gates to make uh, more room to keep the walls thinner. Then again, we could also we could always just uh, put battlements on top of a thick wall if we cut off the top. True, and the battlements would look cool. True. I'm just going to keep stacking on toast the entire way. And put me. I feel like, if possible, we could make magic turrets near each door. True. Just to... Yeah, in case an intruder tries to approach the door. Uh, I get violently denied. <laughs> and maybe put up some iron golems as well. And you are not working on anything. And the hospital was just finished. So now we are looking for someone to work as the doctor. And whilst we're at it, might as well get a bunch more of these. Just so we aren't going to run out of this anytime soon in there. And yeah, the four <laughs> this starts are pretty teeny tiny. Okay, put all of this in there. Any books too? And the, currently the doctor is Amir G. Asplin. Okay, and they are not good for the job at all. Actually, they are decent for the job. They have 4 mana and 60 knowledge, but Chester over here has a bunch, has more mana, but less knowledge. Actually, she's the sword fighter we just hired, isn't it? Anyways, let's put this to manual, fire you, and hire you. There we go. That should... Uh, yeah, that should make... Yeah, that should ensure that any uh, villagers that do get sick head over here now to get healed. It's a bit further away than I maybe should have put it. Maybe I should have put it here, but oh well. It's, it's not too much of a difference. Um, in the meantime, though, let's start upgrading some stuff. The Courier's Hut is something you'll definitely want to upgrade because it's uh, part of the colony management. Yeah, at, one, at level 1, they can only carry around one thing at a time. Level 2, they can carry 2, 3, 4, 8, and at level 5, they can just move everything. <laughs> so you definitely want to upgrade these pretty quickly. Because if they're only moving one thing around at a time, then they're basically wasting a lot of time. So I'll probably upgrade that to level 3, and then mostly leave it there. Oh dear. Is the game being quiet with the sounds again? Let me check. Oh, master volume is... That also explains. <laughs> there we go. In the meantime, I'll just set everything else that I put down to be built to keep the builders busy. Uh, this is level. This looks like a level two, so I don't think it'll need an upgrade. Uh, but it's cheap enough, so might as well. Okay, someone's working on the courier hut. Uh, we also need to upgrade this and the tavern as well. Actually, I don't think the tavern needs to be upgraded, but it's still good to have. I, I presume it'll lead to better visitors to the colony. Yes, it does. Better visitors to the colony and more of them will arrive as well. Okay, you have high adaptability, uh, but that's about it. The, uh, the other stats are good, but I don't know how well adaptability w really mixes with the others. Well, it we is very good actually, for uh, builders. Yeah, let, let me actually double check that. I think for builders it's adaptability and agility. And how competent is our 
guy here. Actually, we can just add... You have... Act. Let's first check in here. What stats? Okay, athletics and adaptability. Athletics and adaptability. And the current guy has a total of 29 on that. Okay. We know that Isn't she has... twice the amount? Yeah, it's a... It's a both. Uh, you are you are not that good. So goodbye. See it. Okay. Let's see. Athletics. Okay. She would be only a bit better. Uh, wait. Isn't that a Dutch name? Alia. Uh, yeah, I don't Gorst? think so. Right? Gorst. Uh, Gorst. No, it doesn't have to be. I think. God, what are you sleeping out here? What the? Oh, it's our druid, I think. A bit. I, I presume because of the potion. She drink a sleeping potion? Uh, I guess. She <laughs> could have taken a better spot for a sleep on, unless you just drank the wrong bottle. Like, uh, at first I need some water. And accidentally drinks the sleep potion. <laughs> but yeah, we had we don't have anything that builds you know, or makes potions at the moment, and shouldn't the lining have appeared here? Oh well. Uh, but yeah, she's the druid uh, because she buffs and such. Buffs in heal. Yeah. Oh, and it's sunset. Okay. Um, going to go in here again. But I think we should we should have a lot of spaces for new colonists. Okay, we have room for two more. Uh, we have two builders. We have one archer, one cook, one courier, one doctor, one druid, one knight, one researcher, and one unemployed. Okay, what can we make for them to be? Hmm. He probably would need more uh, military. Do we also need blacksmith with us as well, but... We need to research that first. Uh, let's yeah. see. Maybe it's time we let them automate some of their own production. Uh, not builders huts. Maybe we can make a, a mine. Also, oh, it, shows, it shows here if you need research to for them to actually build these. Oh, that's good. Uh, let's see. Warehouse shepherd's hut for, well, sheep and such. Cowhands hut, swine herd, chicken farmer. Over the rest of the restaurants. Uh, we can already. Be, oh, yeah, we already can build a library. Maybe we should. Do we? I don't know if libraries need someone to. Uh, what would be the actual word for that? To. Librarian? No, not that, but to. Uh, Let's just say to work there. I don't know if the libraries need that. Maybe we can make an Librarian. enchanter's tower. No, it to to work there to to staff it to staff it there. That is the word. Okay. Uh, yeah, they were staffing it. Is librarians? No, not not the one, not the <laughs> name for the one, but the words for what to work at a to staff a place. Uh, okay, no, okay, never get ya. Okay, never get ya. Uh, let's see. Nethermine. Okay. Alchemist Tower. Const no, construction Tape. Okay, that's all of the ones. Um... Alchemist Tower. Uh, you you yeah. all, all right around all the alchemists, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. How could we distribute this? I'm thinking about keeping this play, yeah, place open for a bit. Maybe we can put the graveyard and the mystical site here. Then towards this direction, we're going to have our uh, construction and such. Actually, so I'm thinking... it, probably be, it might be good to have more living houses than the mystical site and other, other thing as well. Uh, with, the, with the houses, I'm thinking we can just keep digging, uh, going outward like this. For the right. moment, at least. Well, yeah, we. I'm thinking uh, our last 
uh, unemployed person, we can probably make a forester. So that way the the for the, the colony has some auto production with uh, wood and such. All right, then the question be in what direction? Uh, it's going to be producing wood, so we might as well put it directly next to the warehouse. All right, that makes sense. Probably should also dig out an area where you have the food storage. Uh, yeah, we'll get to that uh, later, or may maybe I'll do that off screen. For now, just dig a way out of here. Okay. Now, how big would? Okay, not actually. We yeah, we need to make the thing first, of course. <laughs> That'll help a ton. Uh, let's see. Forester is just an axe. Okay. Easy enough. We only need one at the moment. And oh, there it is. Okay. And the easiest that we have one. So how exactly are we going to place this thing? Lumberjack. Let's see. What is it with these true dwarven <laughs> buildings just being so massively yes, oversized? Yeah, you should probably lower it. Oh. Yeah, you definitely should lower it for you having it high up. Yeah, I'm, I'm, we're just going, we're just looking at uh, the designs at the moment. Uh, let's see. And that level five. Okay, that, that looks pretty good. And how would it look as fortress? In the fortress, they just encase everything, or partially encase everything. And it seems that it's about the same size as the warehouse. It's actually, it might be a little bit wider. But other than that, it is the same size it looks. Okay. Uh, the thing with these foresters is that they do need a, well harvested area nearby to actually, well, dig the, uh, yeah, chop the wood from. Uh, yeah, that, that over there with the auto uh, tree farm, that's just going to be for uh, power generation the entire way. One more. One more down. There we go. Good let's boy. keep a bit of room between so we can move well through. All right, that's going to put that thing over there. So might as well dig towards it right away. Okay. Um, actually, we could we could just turn this into a bit of a park. Just plant a bunch of you know, trees here. And have the the forester work from here. Probably a good idea. And then we could cut any wood. Uh, to my knowledge, at least. Hmm. Probably can. Should probably be able to give them some variety then. Yeah. So, I mean, as a forester, you would expect them to be able to replant them themselves. Yeah, I think they do. All right, then we just need them to give them good ground for to do that. Yep. Okay. And it's going to clear out the you know, starting area so that the, the builder doesn't have to do that. Uh, still to go. It can be a bit disorientating like this. With the stuff in the, in the, <laughs> in the way. Okay. Yeah, it is. It does seem to be about the same exact size. And I think these rails here are actually uh, 
yeah so you can act uh, so you can connect them to a rail system so the, the village the, not the village the colonists can move around a lot faster that is correct okay uh let's just have it started and then we'll finish off the rest of this dig um where is i also made this a lighting wand which well fires off little projectiles like that that light up the area it those should be permanent yeah uh, mostly i made that to uh, in case the ars nouveau uh, lights aren't as permanent as we thought they were supposed to be because i think i've seen a few vanish yeah like i think you need to add some upgrades for that yeah so one way or the other we have permanent lighting or cheap permanent lighting for the moment and i'm just going to need to make a more permanent way to get up here somehow if i can just keep digging out to the side or or just empty it out completely just yeah that, actually... that would be easier then that way you don't need to worry about it too much and well, we have a specific something for clearing out areas that we want cleared out. Uh -oh. So the turtle comes to play again. Michelangelo. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'll just put this here, put it on top. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22. Okay. And we tell it to you. With the speaking, you can play. What? Okay. Excavate 22. And then we just get some fuel. Are you sure you wrote 22, not 23? 22. If we want to be sure oh. that it doesn't go out, we can just have it go one less. We'll just take that because it's just going to take up an extra slot and it might fill with something else. Actually. Wait. Is it going to take one layer at a time or just keep going and going and going down? It's going. Well, you can already see it. It's just going to go zigzagging. Oh, yeah. Just to so you don't accidentally have a massive hole there later. Yeah, we can stop it once it is yeah, low enough. We'll just have to keep a bit of an eye on it. And yeah, we might as well throw a few of these around. Okay, did, it, did that go out of range? Okay, so there is a range to these. And I hear slime. And slime here's you. Oh well. Yeah, we'll just have to we'll have to keep an eye on this thing that it doesn't go too low. But for now it should be safe. Uh, also, we need this warehouse built. Hopefully it runs out of fuel before it does that. Uh, with all of that, with all of the coal that we I put in. Uh, it has enough to go down to the bedrock, possibly, because we're already pretty low. Uh, uh, probably not bedrock, what? but still. Why did you give it so much fuel? Uh, to ensure that it doesn't run out before it's done. And, well, if it digs that low, we can always just cover it up. Or just put something underneath. Oh, dear. I'm already worried. Again. It was spruce fence. Which I don't actually have, it seems. Wait, you okay. need Bruce? You need a, a fence made of shark, all right? No. <laughs> uh, <let's, laughs> no, that's a fence gate. Well, hey, who was it again who coined the term? Was it Dre? Draycast or Baron Von Gain? 
James who coined the name Bruce for the shark in Raft. Bruce mm. became canon. <laughs> Not sure. I've, I've kept somewhat of an ear on Raft, mostly because some people I know play it, but I haven't touched it myself. Okay, some stairs and bricks. But they released the final chapter and released... You can unlock more characters to play as. Okay. So I've... I might be wrong, but I think the, the game is finished now. At least it has all all the chapters. Okay. I've seen uh, not I've seen press to laugh is quote unquote let's play of that, but I didn't actually go over the actual ending, I think. So I'll just have to see until Captain Sauce managed to do that. Yeah, I hope he's able to finish. I think some YouTubers have finished it, but Captain Sauce... Yeah, he... he he's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I should probably go look back on some older videos of his, because he is funny, but he, he does put out uh, videos a bit slow, but... Yeah, it, it was a time he... Recently, he was a bit, a bit quicker, but... In one of his recent videos, he did say every time he'd been trying to record something... He's not he not been able to do it due to uh, well heat waves. Yeah, that's been a bit of an issue lately. Yeah, it's so going. But first it was that he was being busy making sure merch of his t-shirts are getting made properly. This took a lot of his time. Then came the heat waves. Nice. So I think that he wants to get a bit more active. Just yeah, I don't blame him. It does seem like the heat wave, at least over here, is uh, toning down. But yeah, I but don't know how it is over there, wherever he lives. Yeah. He lives in Canada. Okay. And over here, since yesterday, we've been getting more winds. Like, all the days we had some rain, but it was no wind. Like, it was cold outside, but hot indoors. Because without wind, the heat stays inside the house. Yeah. Even with fans. And... Since, again, older houses were built as heat sponges because, at least back then, the windows were cold. Then you wanted the house to be heat sponge, and the summers did not get as hot as they do now. Yeah, we have the same problem here. <laughs> yeah, basically, what was a benefit in the past has become a problem in the present. And Really? Yeah, it... No, no, hit no, no. I want you to go to the builder right now and apologize. <laughs> it wasn't near them, but that would have fallen anyways whilst they were digging in. I, I thought I'd better get rid of that before it actually falls on them. Oh dear. Okay, so we have... One of our builders is currently doing what? Uh, yeah, actually, I have actually been watching some of the videos of Captain Sauce as well. Which means you and I are way too similar brain waved. <laughs> okay, we can also set this up for an upgrade. Oh gosh, yeah, I've watched some of his episodes of... Uh, Goodbye, my king. Because I actually wrote you one of the quotes he accidentally said during one of the episodes. We looked at a a child's drawing of a sheep riding a rooster. Okay. And this is what he said. Right? Alright, a sheep riding a cock. Wait. That might be... Yeah, he didn't realize that he has said something bad. Yeah. Basically, uh, hey, that didn't came out right. Uh, but yeah, I, I had to pause at that one point and try not to laugh too hard. And then likely fail. I don't want to succeed, but close to a cramp. I, I was screaming know. like mad. Like, sure, cock is a term for a meat rooster, 
But rooster is also an alternative word for a male chicken or hen or what? Which uh, uh. hen is the female? All right. But yeah, you get the point. So he did use the correct terminology. Just yeah, due to modern slang, it may easily be mistaken for something else. Yeah. What uh, he I've said. Also, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. I've also upgraded here a bit. Uh, first off, you'll probably see a bit few more horns run, walking around and dancing. Uh, yeah, I've made a few more Drigme charms. I need more of their shards to make more of them, but it has had an effect. So they are working now. Yep. Now we just need to find a way to get this food down to the kitchen. And these I here, uh, if I can get an angle, I cannot get it. Those are... Yep. Those are harvester pylons, which will automatically harvest the crops around them and put them in these boxes. Nice! It doesn't work for the industrial hemp, though, but we don't actually need this anymore, since we can just pull string out of the transmutation tablets. Yeah, true. And, hmm, I guess we could move the, these guys into the cave. They have, let them have their own little area where they help with the farm animals. True. Uh, with the Drigmies, we could probably skip the uh, the butchers and such, uh, the, the cow hand, the swine herd and such. Uh, actually, maybe even the chickens. Uh, though we should probably call those all the same because we just have way too many. Uh, and yeah, have them collect the meat and such from them, put those into a post, have it automated, automatically be, yeah, have it automatically be put into a post box, so that it gets put in the warehouse and then gets sent out to the kitchen. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. And that means we do need to hire people to be, to be those cow herders. We also have these guys. Yeah. And they don't kill them either. It's is merciful but also weird yeah. since they take the meat from a cow without killing them and yeah the, the reason why i put these hoppers on these things is because they actually the... work with them so if you put stuff on them it will automatically be put on the pedestal so to speak you can see them hover through things a bit uh we just need more yeah well Drig me shards to be able to complete the ritual, and I haven't been able to find oh, them in a bit. Dear. And I also think there might be a way to automate this. I've put, I've tried putting a hopper underneath it, but that just takes it out uh, immediately. Uh, maybe we can get one of those scrolls if we can have them work selectively, uh, that it would only take out. The, uh, the, <clears throat> the arcane crystals when they are done or something. Or the source gems. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. And yeah, just the novice armor still in here. Uh, might as well talk a bit about the arcane stuff. It is made by basically upgrading the threads you get from the mage blooms. You upgrade... Uh, you can upgrade those into the second stage with magma cream, I think, or... Uh, let me actually check that. Uh, runic chalk, okay. Uh, there. You can bla turn it into blaze powder fiber with blaze powder. And you can make the second stage of clothes out of that. And with the blaze fiber and popped chorus fruits, you can make the end fiber, which, well turns into the Archmaid boots and such. Yay! Fancy! Hmm. Can you enchant it? You haven't checked? Okay, we can. Ooh, protect <laughs> projectile protection 4, that's pretty good. Un oh, unusing. I believe that is a curse that actually makes you unable to use it, so let's not. 
Why didn't you take projectile any protection? Uh, it'd be useful, but I think general protection would be better. Or, hmm. or maybe we could, since I, let let's actually see what other uses is there for maize bloom fiber? Okay, a maize bloom bed, uh, whatever that is for. Runic chalk, blank parchment. Wait, hold on, it. hold on. You don't know what a bed is. Uh, I know what it is, but I don't know what it is for or what would use it. You sleep on it? <laughs> I, I think it'd be a bit too small for that. I, let's actually make one right now, then. We just need eight and a feather. Just one feather? Yeah, one would yeah. expect it to be a special kind of bed. It, this looks more like a pet bed. Uh. You know what? I think you're right. <laughs> um, let's wait. Yeah. Question is: then, Is a bed for what? The dreamies? Um, we can look that up in a second. For now, where is that encyclopedia book here? Or, actually, I know where it is because we stuck it to the bloody foundry, <laughs> or not the foundry here. Okay, if I remember correctly, you can put new books into this thing. Somehow. Uh, actually, I, I think I need to clear it out first. And then we put the, not the book back next to it. And let's see. Let's go for going. Tinker's Construct. Silent Gear. Where it, it's, This should add the new, the new book to it. I'm just trying to look through it where it is to double check. Cooking for blockheads, integrated dynamics. Or is it too no it should I don't think it's too big. Let's see, this is Encyclopedia of Tinkering. And Okay, either I'm looking straight over it or it's not in there. Hmm. Okay. In that case, I don't want to have to make one again immediately. So let's not risk that. But we can try it with one of these, since these are less needed. So this is Fantastic Foundry. And Fantastic Foundry. Okay, so it should work. I just didn't list it in there for some reason. Well, we to these such a massive list. <laughs> Probably. So we can just stick these other books into it. And save ourselves a bit of space on it. You know, in our inventory. And the original is all... Oh, it's, a, it's at the very top. It's... Okay, it, it sorts them by the mods. Okay. So I just... That's why I didn't see it. Uh, the original... The materials on use should already be in here. Yes. So this one we can just... There, feed it. Uh, can we... No, we can't get... We can't put the hemp in it, but we can just turn that into string quickly. And feed that. We can't do that with the hemp, so we might as well throw that away as well. Okay. Um, let's see. How are the miners? Not the miners. The builders doing? They should have all they need. They should yeah, only you, be digging. At the you moment. should probably check on the turtle. Yep. A black hole in three, two, one. Wait, what? Uh, what? Oh, there it is. Okay, what? I 
Oh, we might have gone too far away for it to be considered as active. Okay, so we just grab that, grab it. Uh, put down a quick block for it to start on. And we just restart it. And that does mean that we'll have to stick it close by. Keep it working. Let's throw the extra junk. Actually, no, let's just keep that and we'll deal with it ourselves. And just send that thing off. If it does run out, it'll just dump everything. Or it, it runs out of fuel or uh, working space. Or, or space in its inventory. It'll, it should just dump it off in there. Okay. In the meantime, set this as an active build. And then we'll just see... Yeah, what the builders will do. Okay, so we checked what the first one was doing. This one... Okay. Really? <laughs> Just a few torches short. Okay, get to work. That's our researcher. And in the meantime, we can go head um, towards the foundry. Elia, did you see what you... You spoke fast. Uh, you mean the doctor? <laughs> Is that the doctor? Yep. Holy crap, run! <laughs> it's a plague doctor. It's or a pee in the news. <laughs> the plague doctor's in the news. Run! Okay. Um, let me grab, actually, we were going to check something here, so let's actually do that without immediately forgetting. Uh, worn notebook. Yeah, okay. about the beds. Let's see, that should be in the, here perhaps? Let's see, beds, bed, bed. Hmm. I saw something about a, a bow. We might go make that at some point. Source link, alchemical source link. Amethyst golem charm, we'll be needing that. Belt of levitation, bookworm. I do want to go take a look at that and whatever this dominion want is, but for the now we're just looking at whatever that, uh, whatever that bed is for. Courier hut has been built. Starbuncle. Okay. I didn't see anything about a bed specifically. Uh, maybe that is somewhere among the automation or familiar stuff. Let's see. Uh, basic spell turrets. Turrets can be used to cast spells when given a redstone signal, functioning like a dispenser. Turrets will accept spells that use touch and projectile. And the builder is working on a house now. Uh, set and uh, Okay, but that'll just use them automatically at all times, I think. But it will cast them at a slow at a discount. Timer spell uh, turrets automatically on a timer. Okay, nothing that seems to be specifically on the proximity or something. Hmm. Starbuckle shades, what? Using these on a starbuckle will disable their ability to pick up items off of the ground or pick source berries. Wanding the starbuckle will drop the glass, what? <laughs> okay. Wait. What? what does that mean? Wouldn't that... I guess that would be to avoid it packing up random stuff dropped near it and only work with inventories or something. Maybe. A mage bloom bed. The mage bloom bed. A decorative bed. Starbuckles can be bound to a bed using the domain wand, and they will rest in the bed when there are no other tasks. Okay, so it is just a pet bed. <laughs> uh oh. 
And here we hope there was a big bed. No, you, you're that idiot again, and I can hear a slime. Yeah, you are. I still need to figure out where the hell to get those, uh, <clears throat> the fireworks star. Actually, I'll just freaking Google that right now. Yeah, I kept telling you there's a video about it, but you never listen. But, okay, ne not never, but you keep forgetting. Wait, wait, it's that simple? Just gunpowder and a die? What? Really? <laughs> it was that simple, but it just couldn't show a, uh, it just couldn't show a recipe for it. Okay. <laughs> what? Uh, actually, if we go upstairs, we'll run, we'll go too far away for the, for the turtle. So we might as well preemptively deactivate that. Just so it doesn't, yeah, you know, stop again. No, that way. There. Now it'll only run on whatever coal it finds itself, and we can check in with our builders or the, the one that's okay. Torches, cobblestone stairs, a lot of them. And then a crafting table, bunch of dirt, a furnace, the oak. Okay. Since we still can't put in furnaces, actually, just make a bunch of them. Then we don't have to make them anymore here. I. That's, I'm pretty sure that's what we did with the other builder. Okay, there and there and there. Dirt, oak stairs, rack and bed. Yeah, not that one. Okay. One, two, three, and then the dirt as last. Yeah, that should be plenty. There, that should keep them both busy for a while, whilst we go to the foundry. I should extend this path eventually, but not for now. For now, yeah, we're heading over here. To the gate with I, I should before next time I should fix this up so that it actually opens from both ends and not just from one because I do not want our colonists wandering in from there. Uh, for now, yeah. uh, bit of a brain fart. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, actually, I don't remember if... Run I don't think running redstone underneath these would actually activate them. You need to rec ac run it past it. Actually, just grab a whole stack. And the lever. Basically... Just putting this in place so that we can seal this off so nobody can follow us in. Okay, that doesn't work because it doesn't go directly into them. 
that's going to ruin the floor a bit. And that there and oh, did dear. I put any okay yeah I did redstone repeater three one two yep one two three one two three and there we go now they can't come after us it looks stupid but it works What the heck? Yeah, you should probably try to build a bit deeper on the ground so you can make it look good when it does that. True. Or maybe just put in a, a door like that as well here. For now, it'll just do to keep them safe from... Well, it, it'll keep them safe from themselves, to put it that way. And let's see, which one was, it was this way and then to the right, I think. Now with the lighting wand, so where, where did I put the lighting wand? There it is. Uh, all right, I was just saying, you checked your head. No, oh, and we've got incoming raiders. Okay. What kind of raiders? Uh, mysterious warriors, which means that they haven't been identified, but it knows that they're on the way, at least. So not Amazons, at least. And yes, uh, you can be raided by Amazons. It could be Amazons. We'll just figure... We'll just... We'll know it when the game tells us. Uh, so far, what is this in Amazon Raiders is they throw so many spears. Okay. Just lighting it up with the lighting wand seems to disable them, but I don't want to do that for each and every one of these. And they... Okay. Or, it, it did not disable them, it just slowed it down. Okay. I'm, I'm actually... Oh, it might also be that one up there. Uh, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, this <laughs> this place is a bit uh, dangerous, as you can tell. Let me just grab this because I want to dig out. I'd want to collect some of these for later. Yes, freaking a lot of them. We need some fire protection stuff, I think. Out. Yeah, you definitely do. There. Hello. Okay, at, at the very least our respawn is far enough that uh, they actually despawn. So... Yeah, grab a torch and get ready to be just plant a damn torch on it. Uh, that hopefully didn't... Okay, that didn't spawn anything nearby. I might want to... <laughs> yeah, you I just... I locked myself out. And there's the barbarians. Okay, they're to the northwest. Which is actually up... A bit opposite to where I was. Uh, okay. We'll just break this. Grab some dirt. Put that in front. So we can actually jump over. And yeah. Whilst the raid is going on. The colony is basically going to be useless. Oh, thank you. I think they just went to bed. Yeah. But even after waking up. They won't work when there is a raid ongoing. Ah. True. Makes sense. And yeah, I, I guess just putting some lights on the uh, wrong way again. Just putting some lights on the for, on the foundry, or I 
What is it called again? A foundry or a forge? I don't actually remember specifically. Uh, you've been calling the. Uh, you've been calling them a foundry for a while. Yeah, well, let's stick to, with that then. But yeah, just putting lights on them doesn't disable them, I guess, or at least putting a light on it. Okay, get our gear back. Now, let's not immediately burn to death again. Technical retreat. Yep. And whilst we're at it, there it is. Hopefully they'll despawn by the time yeah, with us being away, and that's another light I put down. And we'll see if the well, if that actually disabled them or not. But the magma spawner one still worked, so I'm guessing the blaze spawner will also still work after. And maybe we should start getting rid of the spawners all around the dungeon at some point. I don't know if we'll really have a use for the there's things that these spawn, except for maybe uh, experience grinding. Yeah, probably good to remove them there to avoid future disasters. Okay. Uh, actually, I know. I think I know a way to have to fix this already. I'll just have to see if we can actually make it. Okay, the researcher is actually still working. I didn't think they would. Yeah. Well, oh, be, yeah, yeah. Sir, we probably uh, we should probably deal with the barbarians yeah, if we can find them. That is. Uh, let's see. What should we have you research next? Two HP isn't that much. That needs to be upgraded you know, with the town hall. So higher learning. So we just grab some books. Okay, seems I did throw a magic box into this the tablet at one point. But it doesn't actually show what it is. What do you, what do you have? It doesn't actually have anything. Okay, so hmm. Putting spells Double into egg? the tablet is a bit useless then. Yeah, that's probably for good reason for otherwise. Yeah, you'd be able to just spam certain spells or enchantments. Yeah. Let's erase that. And where would we even have to look for those barbarians? Last time they got stuck in the upper level of the dungeon, so maybe we can go look there. But first, let me look into that thing that I was thinking about before I forget it. Uh, glass Central. Okay, Ethereal Glass. Not solid to players, but it should be solid to everything else. We could make some easy doors out of this. And it's, oh, it's an Eye of Ender and Glass. It's a bit pricey. But worth it, I'd say. And I do carry around a bunch of glass these days now as well, just to have it easy, have easy access without having to run back to a furnace. Okay. And we can just make this, we, we can just feed it into the here. Okay. And just undo what we did earlier. <laughs> And then... Um, not forgetting something? Yeah, we can remove those later. For now, we just need to block this off. And... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. The colonies shouldn't be able to get through this. But just in case... I'm going to keep the door here in case they do manage to pass through this. Okay. 
for now though, uh, there. Let's go look for the upper area of the dungeon to see if we can find the, well, the raiders. Be hopefully before they manage to dig into the colony. That isn't of the dungeon. Where actually is the up the stair up here? I don't know if we actually found that or not, which would be odd since well it would otherwise it would mean that it'd be disconnected then. I don't think we even found a, a pair of stairs here. So just to just uh, oh, no, oh this is the foundry wall this is part of the foundry wall so I just looked at the mini map okay that's not that's going to take a bit uh, we do have an entry point to the upper area so we can go look around for the the stairs there hmm. I just need to get to the wall. Uh, that here. I need to double check where the wall is in that area. It's probably in the ceiling. Oh. That was a risk with the digging here. Okay, that was an uncommon spawn. Dimitun uh, Spider Riders. I should maybe unlock that leap spell to so that we can ha so we have an easy way to get over the walls without needing to break them every at time. Okay. Okay. Uh, after, yeah, I should probably just go and dig away to the uh, the overgrown part of the dungeon, so we can have easy access. And yeah, this just breaks into the foundry as well. Maybe this would be a be this would probably be a much better place to uh, start an attack from, since it's a much less open area. But the moment we get around the corner here, we have a bunch of piglin in netherite. So yeah. Ooh. Didn't seem that tough. Either way, just to ensure that they don't come chasing after us. Okay, these do remain collectible. There. That should ensure that this place remains safe. And here we have the dungeon. Okay. Yeah, a good part of it falls into our territory. I probably should just completely try to completely clear this place out with the vines because they do get annoyingly in the way. Yep. Uh, these were already here last time. And yeah, this is where they dug down towards the colony. <laughs> oh, they, they dug down quite a bit more. Am I the only one seeing a huge, massive red blob on the minimap? Uh, that's probably a bunch of spawns in the foundry. Let's hope it's the foundry, otherwise... You might be in for quite a hurt. Yeah, it, it is around here, so I think it is foundry stuff. And yeah, this just leads down to the overgrown parts. Over... Ain't the entire thing overgrown? 
Uh, the upper level wasn't. Or at least not with vines. And uh, let's see. That's the, that was the top of the nether part of the dungeon. Now, where the hell is the connecting staircase? Need more toast probably in a bit. I uh, already went here, but Best to double check if there's no side passages. We already checked up there. Hmm. It would be nice to have a way to get an accurate location on invaders. But normally you wouldn't have to scour the caves for them. <laughs> yeah. Hey, this has its benefits, but those are some drawbacks. Oh dear. Oh, <laughs> okay, I see what happened. It overlaid into the foundry, so it got... <laughs> the staircase is in the obsidian wall. That's oh. why it didn't seem connected. Okay. Yeah, I, I might want to make a... Okay, that was fast. I, I might want to go make a cobblestone destroyer, not a cobblestone, an obsidian breaker pickaxe, just to be able to get rid of that stuff uh, faster. <laughs> Gesundheit. Thank you. Yeah, fire really spreads fast on the, on the vines. Well, it's vines and not wood. So that would burn faster than wood. Have you never seen grass burn? Oh, I have. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I guess the first real step we should have towards conquering the foundry would be to start making some fire protection potions. Uh, but for now, let's just keep clearing this stuff out. I kind of like the vine, but yeah, I can agree that it's definitely getting in the way. And this was where they dug through. Almost right on top of the wall. There. Just to be certain nothing spawns. I hear another slime again. That one actually sounded like it was in the the perimeter. Hmm. Or not. Okay. Um hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll have to wait for the I guess we'll have to wait for the uh, the invaders to get themselves killed again. Hmm. They they could be at any level in the caves. So uh, bloody heck! Hmm. Yeah, one big drawback to going on the ground with this. Um, yeah, if you ever need to restart, probably should do it by the coast. On the surface, so like, going... sure, we can beat it next to the mountain and dig into the side of the mountain. Maybe not as we did deep under the, the mountain. Yeah. Um, let me. Not that. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't. Break the lab. Okay. Again. Just to be sure that we... I don't know if the knowledge between these books is shared. 
So to be certain that we don't accidentally end up with two different books with differently with different spells unlocked, I'm going to stock this one in here and just leave it there. In the meantime, uh, 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 explosion. No, we already have that unlocked. We need AOE. So there, select. Ruid on it. Isn't it? Isn't it supposed to put the box, the book on it? Uh, I I'm, I think I'm thinking of something else. Uh, oh. <laughs> now we put our sword on that. Okay, now we have AOE unlocked with this. So let's actually... Let's see. Harm can be on, you can't be. Okay. You should be able to finally do your proper explosion. Okay, so if we do projectile... Projectile cannot be augmented by AOE. What? Okay, but it can be once it is break. Okay. So if we actually, I should have saved the spell. So projectile break AOE create and let me just turn the that off again. Okay, that's now a two by two. So if we put another on it, that turns it into a three by three. Okay, that's going to be a lot easier for mining stuff out. Yep, especially if it's on top of your head. Uh, oh, hello. Or, or in case you need to blow your way through something. Okay, so some of the raiders or the Raiders of one attack spawned up here. Did they? Oh, no, that's a, bu that's a bunch of spiders in Walden. Be gone, beastmen! Uh, there was another spell that we were going to look into, the Summon Wolves one. Might as well do that now. Yeah, for also, that one. It... Hmm? What? Uh, go ahead, you. Is... Uh, I was to say that one could be useful in some combat situations. Yeah, did we just summon some wolves and hello, humanoid flesh? Okay. Uh, I think we found that before from one of our corpses, so nothing new. Uh, this this was just a little experiment for uh, cobblestone generators. Okay. Actually, now that we're next to this thing, I believe there is something that we can do now that it has this little uh, orb floating around it. Uh, where is the onk? Pretty sure I carried it with me. Or apparently not. What? Did that get deleted or something? Hope not. Hmm. Or did it get put away? Hmm. So if anywhere I would have put it here, but it's not. Okay, I, I'll have to presume that it got deleted then. <clears throat> okay, easy enough. We should have graves dust somewhere. We have only do we have only two of it? And no, we have a bunch more of it. <laughs> And then it was golden sticks. And if we already have an onk somewhere, then we just now have a spare. Spare's good to have. Oh, we left even more in there. Might as well have it stored in that specific box then. Okay. Now, is this going to do anything? Diamond sight has been cast on you. Okay. 
Diamond Sight 3. Oh. Okay, let's let's go down and take a look around with that then. I'm yeah. guessing it does what it's read on the tin. That it allows us to see diamonds in the ground. But apparently there's just not any here. Uh, yeah, I'm sure we are deep enough so they moved them even deeper with updates. I think so, yeah. Uh, hmm. We are running a bit low on time, though. Uh, how far is the timer? Okay, five more minutes. Um, hmm. What can we even do in five more minutes? Okay, this is starting to fill up. Yeah, but I'm sure how we find them raiders in five minutes, and they just jump on your head right now. There is one way that would make it a hell of a lot easier. Um, let's see, that would be an eye of. That's if you stare into the eyes. What <laughs> if you stare into the eye? The starbuncle stares back at you. What? Uh, not demon eye, not third eye, it's not that either. I believe it's an Ars Nouveau thing. Okay, and it's an eye patch. Oh no, it's an for it's an Arcanus and Forbidden. The spectral eye. This should allow us to, uh, if we had this equipped, it would basic it would allow no, it would make. All creatures in our line of sight uh, be visible through uh, yeah, through blocks, but the problem Ooh. is that we need a Nether Star for it, and oh. I believe I believe Nether Stars drop from withers. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. We could we do know where a fortress is. So we could go, uh, yeah, we still have this one. We could go hunting for uh, withers or wither skeletons and make a wither. But I'm not too sure if, <laughs> I'm not too confident in my own abilities to actually take one on, at least with the stuff that we have. Like we have good armor, we have a, a pretty good sword. But um, you you can cheese it by tell, summoning it in a, a room that's one block too low, so it suffocates. Okay, but they uh, probably one made of obsidian because they are, their explosions can break blocks. Yeah, I don't think they're able to cause the explosions when they're suffocating. Let's see. I believe there's actually reinforced obsidian as well that is even harder to break. Apparently, we can make obsidian stairs and slabs now. Let's see. That's obsidian almost like, like a good way to make your arcane workshop explosion proof. <laughs> Probably, once we finally get to that. Uh, is there. There should yeah, be a reinforced I, somewhere. For people curious, I usually call it the arcane forge, but the arcane forge will just be a part of the arcane workshop. Okay, oops. Oh, Obsidian Skull Shield. This this is actually something that has been sort of imported from Terraria with, uh, well, the Obsidian Skull and the Obsidian Skull Shield. And, yeah, it prevents us from taking fire damage for up to 30 seconds. That would be pretty useful for getting into the, uh, <clears throat> into the foundry. But is there reinforced Obsidian or not? I see we're refined obsidian actually I probably could have just typed in re reinforced crying obsidian crying even block reinforcing universal block reinforcer okay the in for sir let's see level two level three Okay, for you, I need, we need glass, a laser block, and diamonds. For the stage two, it's the same, but block reinforced blocks of diamonds. Okay. 
and another star for the third. Okay, laser block is granite, a glass pane, and a block of redstone. Okay, we we could make a pit to fight our wither in. I'll just have to look at what specific dimensions you would have to make that for it to suffocate. Yeah, just... Or, oh, any stone will do. Just in case... Um, away from the colony? Yeah, far, far away. Okay. I'm guessing this should do. Then we have redstone, and I have glass panes with me already. So we just grab crafting stick. There. Okay, then two diamonds, two <coughs> redstone and a stick. And that's the timer going off. But let's at least finish building this thing to see what the deal is with it. I'm guessing when an item, when a block is reinforced, it will well be strong, will be harder to break at the very least. And we can run a quick test on that. We already had glass in my inventory. Okay. There. And now we just grab some stone. The Ankh is on cooldown, it seems. Okay. One normal stone, one... Okay, what is this? Hmm. Let's see. Block reinforcing. Oh, wait. Okay. It works as a workbench, so we just do that. Uh, okay, that's a bit odd. It uh, it creates it once it's out of our inventory. So we put that down. That breaks that quickly, and that does not break at all. Okay, how do we how do we get rid of that then? Um, Very slowly? Hmm. hmm. Yeah, it's not, it not, it's not showing a, a progress bar, so... I'm... I think it might be immortal or something. I, I was going to test it with an explosive, but then he came running up. Uh, hmm. If anything we can make with these things is basically indestructible, then we could basically just make a cave out of dirt and reinforce that. <laughs> or a, a, I, we could basically just make a box out of uh, reinforced dirt and uh, kill the wither in that. Possible. Just about anything can be reinforced, it seems. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'll need... Oop, let me... Okay, just grabbing my notepad. And I'm going to add a note here on the Minecraft page. And then, let's see. Uh, wither... Kill box. There. Okay. Uh, oh, the... The backup took <laughs> okay. That backup took real long, so let's just let's just get out of the game before things start breaking because the backups are taking too long. And uh, yeah, uh, hmm. hopefully, I was going to say hopefully this won't take too long, and immediately it ends. So let's go to our, our end screen and go take a look if there is anyone for us to raid. I prepare the flame cannons. <laughs> uh, maybe not. <laughs> oh. Uh, we made we made a good amount of progress with this, I'd say. Um, yeah. 
Yeah. Even though a lot of it was stuck with you explaining what everything in your create thing is did. Uh, maybe, but yeah, it's better to explain some of it at least, so people aren't completely in the dark as to what the hell is going on. Uh, uh, true. Oh, someone else is playing Minecraft that I know, so that makes it very easy as to who we're going to raid. Okay, I at least prepare the ice cannons. Okay. So, slash raid Zeri the Fox. There we go. Okay. Uh, still a, a lot of fun. I'll, I'll, I'll work on that upgraded harvester and uh, I'll work on moving, uh, making a pen for the <clears throat> for our cattle and the uh, Drigmies downstairs next to the, the restaurant. I'll need to push into the create area a bit for that, but oh well. Um... Yeah, other than that, things went well today. Uh, no yeah. technical issues as well, so that's also good. Um, let's see. I, I'll need to. I really need to keep a freaking copy of when my uh, shifts are on the desk here. Probably just nail it to the desk with actual nails, not just uh, <laughs> tape. Uh, that way I would have a better way of saying when next we would be able to stream. But next time we are going to stream, we're going to be doing Zanzara again. Because we I managed to get I managed to grind up our fairies quite a good amount. And I managed to beat the bloody uh, fire card guardians. Art? The, 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 the fairy uh, card of or the magic fire card that allows us to go into the volcano. There we go. For you say cart by accident. Okay. Uh, but until then, uh, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you as always to Kier. And uh, until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, folks. One, two, three, four, five, six.